To another exciting episode of Storytime Anytime. Today we are going to learn about seals and walruses and what makes these ocean mammals quite fascinating. Are you ready to explore the ocean waters? Let's dive right in. They live both in the sea and on land. Some of them weigh as much as rhinoceroses. Are seals fish? No, they are a kind of ocean mammal that scientists call a pinniped, which means fin foot. Like all mammals, including people, seal babies drink milk from their mothers. There are three main kinds of seals. Fur seals and sea lions have ears you can see. They are called eared seals. California sea lion, stellar sea lion, northern fur seal, New Zealand fur seal. Earless seals such as harbor seals, bearded seals, and ring seals have ears that don't show on the outside. Kinds of seals. Eared seals, earless seals, walruses. Harbor seal, bearded seal, ringed seal. Walruses have tusks. Seals range in size from the four-ton southern elephant seal to the 150-pound Baikal seal. Do seals walk or swim? Both, but they swim much more gracefully than they walk. Their soft, smooth bodies glide through water. Eared seals swim by moving their powerful front flippers. Earless seals and walruses swim by flapping their wide back flippers. Water speeds. Slowest, walruses travel up to six miles per hour. Fastest, fur seals and sea lions travel up to 34 miles per hour. California sea lion. Harbor seal. On land, they move much more slowly. Fur seals, sea lions, and walruses can pull their back flippers under their bodies to use as legs, so they can walk. Earless seals, however, can't use their rear flippers for walking, so they use their front flippers to drag their bodies. How do seals stay warm? They have a thick layer of fat under their skin called blubber. The fat keeps their insides warm, and they don't seem to mind cold on their thick skin. Many seals cover themselves with snow and sleep on ice. A walrus's skin is two inches thick. Hooded seal. Fur seals have a layer of blubber and two fur coats to keep them warm. The bottom coat is soft and thick, so it traps body heat. 
while the top coat is coarse and oily, so it keeps out the water. Bearded Seal All seals molt, which means they shed their old coats each year to reveal new ones underneath. Can seals see underwater? Yes. In fact, seals can see very well in the depths of the ocean where human eyes would see only blackness. Their tear glands put a film of fine, clear oil over their eyes. The oil protects against salt water and blowing snow. On land, everything they look at is a little blurry. They sometimes mistake a motionless polar bear for a mound of snow. Knowing this, polar bears stand very still if a seal they are stalking looks their way. What do seals eat? Most eat seafood, fish, shellfish, and small ocean animals such as squid. Some seals eat other kinds of animals. The leopard seal eats penguins and seal pups as well as fish. Sea lions often swallow rocks. Over 100 were found in the stomach of one animal. Leopard seal. Walruses eat huge amounts of food about 100 pounds a day. They root in the mud at the bottom of the ocean for shellfish. But rogue walruses, which are very rare, eat meat, especially seals. When fishing is poor, seals can always live off their blubber for a while, but not forever. They need that blubber to stay warm. Where do seals live? All over the world, but they prefer places that are cold. Most seals live in salt water. However, the Baikal seal lives in Lake Baikal in Russia. And a few other kinds of seal also live in freshwater lakes in very cold regions. In general, eared seals meet in big groups called rookeries. Earless seals are more likely to live alone or in small groups, but there are exceptions to this rule. All walruses, except for rogue walruses, live in large groups. Walrus, Northern Fur Seal, Harbor Seal, California Sea Lion, Elephant Seal, Bearded Seal, Harp Seal, Hooded Seal, Baikal Seal, Ringed Seal, Stellar Sea Lion, New Zealand Fur Seal, New Zealand Sea Lion. What about babies? Mother seals give birth to one baby called a pup about once a year. The mother usually goes to the place where she was born to have her pup. All seal pups are born either on land or on ice. Harp seals, for example, will only bear their pups on ice. Great hooded seal pups drink up to 20 pounds of milk every day for four days after they are born. Hooded seal. Earless seals that have babies on ice flows do not hunt for food while they are nursing their young. They just live off their fat. These seals do not let their pups out of sight until they are weaned, which is usually four days to eight weeks after birth. Mother seals recognize their babies by their cry and their smell. The stellar sea lion drops her newborn pup over and over on rocks until it cries, so she can learn to recognize its voice. 
New Zealand sea lion. Eared seals may nurse their pups from a few months to a year. The mother often leaves her pups from time to time to feed at sea. Eared seal pups are often in danger of being trampled by adult males called bulls. Some bulls, which may be five times larger than the females, will actually attack and kill pups that get in their way. Walruses are very good mothers. They keep a close eye on their babies called calves for two years. Do seals have any enemies? Yes, polar bears, sharks, killer whales, and people. That is why some seals have pups on ice floes, which are hard for their enemies to reach. Walruses are so huge that they have no enemies except for people. Human hunters in the 18th and 19th centuries killed so many seals that many species almost became extinct. If only those hunters had followed the wisdom of the Inuit, the native people of the Arctic. The Inuit valued seals because they depended upon them for food, clothes, and some housing materials. They never killed more animals than they needed to survive. Today, many countries have laws that protect seals. Bet you didn't know. A walrus's body turns from white to red when it gets out of the water and lies in the sun. Male elephant seals may go without food for 100 days during breeding season. The greatest danger to seals now is caused by people taking too many fish from the ocean, which doesn't leave enough food for seals. A harbor seal at the New England Aquarium learned to say his name, Hoover, and phrases such as, come over here and get out of here. Seals in danger of being eaten by polar bears don't sleep soundly. They wake up every few minutes to look around. Seals have the same bones in their flippers that humans have in their hands. When a mother seal has been away, she greets her pup by brushing noses. You might say their love is... Wow, I did not know that there are eared seals and earless seals. That was very interesting. Also, I didn't know that walruses watch over their pups for over two years. I'm so glad they are such great mothers. Did you know that walrus tusks can grow up to three feet? It's true. They use their canine teeth to break through ice help them climb out of the water, and even to defend themselves from predators. Let's listen to a fun song about the adorable, huge, blubbery walrus. They belong to a special group they are called Cold. They have long, strong tusks, which are teeth, I'm told. Young. 
Well, that about does it for today's adventure. Until next time, keep on learning because our world is an amazing place. This has been brought to you by Twin Sisters Digital Media and Evergreen Podcasts. Be sure to hit subscribe. If your children enjoyed these songs and stories, go to TwinSisters.com to find even more ways for them to sing and learn. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for our free download of the day giveaways and promotions on exciting new digital learning content like these and much more. And visit our friends at evergreenpodcasts.com. Thank you for joining us at Storytime Anytime.